guys, Aussie FIFA HD and welcome back to yet another episode of my skill move tutorial series where I review skill moves and I show you how, where and when to perform them. Today we're learning the shot cancel. That's right, EA added in the cancelling feature this year in FIFA 21 and you can use it with the shoot button. And let me tell you, if you're one on one with the keeper, it's very effective for getting past them. So without further ado, let's get into the intro. And then I'm going to teach you guys the shot cancel in FIFA 21. Griezmann, three men around him, but somehow finds some space. Ronaldo, fantastic, opening the drive. Ronaldo back. on the ball. He's made himself this just the control. tiniest the bit control of noise. display there is absolutely ridiculous. The Elastico on the goal line. On the goal line, the finest of We talked about Aussie FIFA. He's not here to make up the numbers. Shot cancel can be performed by holding down the shoot button and then subsequently holding down L2 and R2 at the same time. L2 and R2 are the cancelling trigger in FIFA 21 and you can use it after you've powered up the shooting button in FIFA. And essentially what you need to do is, is hold down the shoot button, so it's circle and PS4 uh, to the full, uh, you know, full bars, and essentially then you need to hold down L2 and R2, and the player will cancel the shot. Now, what it actually does is, well, no, let's move that. Let's let's keep that in for the next segment. So, without further ado, let's get into where and when you should use the shot cancel. Moving in to where you should use the shot cancel. There's only one place on the pitch that you should really use this and it is inside the box, especially when you've made a breakaway. But I don't want to go into that too much because that will be in the next segment of when to use it. But lads, essentially the best place to use the shot cancel is inside the box. And without further ado though, I want to show you when you need to use this. Moving in to when you should use the shot cancel. The shot cancel is very, very useful when you're one on one with the keeper. What happens is you hold down the shoot button, you cancel it, and a lot of the time the AI in the keeper will essentially dive and Obviously, uh, you know, if you're on that angle and they dive, you can go around them and uh, it's an easy tap in. A lot of the time, if you do this and, you know, you're one-on-one -on -one and you go to the side a little bit and you perform the fake, you know, the cancel shot, the keeper will dive and then it's an easy tap in. So the best time to use it is when you're one-on-one. -on -one. And basically, that's it, lads. It's very, very good for going around the keeper and I really think you guys should implement it because it, it, you know, it gives you another attacking skill, another attacking sort of aspect to your FIFA uh, 21 attack. And uh, you know, um, the ball rolls don't always work. The you know the the bridge skill around the keeper does work sometimes, but this seems to work quite consistently. If you get it down pat, you should be able to use it, and you should be able to use it to its effectiveness in FIFA 21, but it's only a short episode today. It's really a simple little trick, little skill move that you guys can perform, but I think you should definitely implement it because it's a very good way of rounding the keeper in FIFA 21. But as always, drop a like, drop a sub, and follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description down below. I post over there when I'm uploaded a new episode, so be sure to go and follow me over there, lads, and keep in touch. Without further ado, Without further ado, that's going to sit on the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm out. Have a good day, guys. And peace.